Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to do another chit chat, get ready with me because it is so gloomy outside. There is like literally no sun. It's 3 p.m. and it looks like it's night time. So my lighting might be a bit off. It might look a little bit dark. In my last video, I used the Chi Chi Glitter Eyeliners that I bought in my haul video. So I thought I'd just keep the theme rolling and do a review on everything that I bought in that haul. So this is the Balm Voyage palette. If you guys watch my haul, you already know what it looks like. It's just got pretty much all the face stuff that you need. I already got my foundation, concealer, and eyebrows done, so I'll just move straight on to my eyes. So I'm gonna start off with the first shade here called Welcome, which is just like a matte white shade, and I'm just going to put that underneath my eyebrow just to highlight. It's not like a pure white, I think it's like an off-white. I'm just gonna put that underneath my eyebrow just to highlight. And I'm using it this large fluffy brush from Jessup. As you guys know, all my other face and eye brushes are from Jessup except for a couple of like generic black ones. So my other brushes have black handles with a silver metal bit here, but I went opposite with these ones just so it was easier for me to pick them out. And I know a lot of people would be irritated by that because they don't match, but whatever. But with the same brush, I'm also going to take this middle shade here which is a really beautiful shade. I've already used this shade before and I'm like obsessed with it. It is such a beautiful transition shade. So today I'm gonna go for a really, really soft look just because I feel like I've been doing a lot of dramatic makeup lately, being in this party season. Tonight I just have some Christmas shopping to do so I don't really want dramatic makeup for that anyway. The reason why I love using this large fluffy brush to blend out my transition color is because it's so easy like because it has such a wide surface area it really like blends everything of course if you're not comfortable using such a big brush you can put it in with a smaller um, blending brush and then blend it through with this just to blend it into your brow bone because it just makes it so much more easier even if you want to start off with this and do a really really light application of your eyeshadow and then go in with another brush like a brush like this and then use this just to deepen up your crease color and this will just help give you a more precise application that's probably as dark as I want to go because I do want to keep it very soft like I said so we don't have very many Christmas presents to buy tonight which is good I just don't know what I want to buy and that's the only thing that makes it hard because I'm the type of person that I'll know what I want to buy when I see it Okay, so I'm just gonna keep my crease color like that. And for my eyelid, I'm gonna take this shade. Excuse my ratchet nails, I really need to get them done and do something about it. Speaking of which, I also need to do my hair. Like, look at that regrowth already. I feel like I just got my hair done like yesterday. I can't believe how long it's grown already. Like, I, yeah, actually, it's been about a month and a half. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> because I remember getting it done for my birthday. So it's Monday night tonight. Hopefully it's not too busy at the shops. But the shopping center I go to, there's always parking. It's just, I hate how some people just don't know how to walk in a shopping center, and especially large families. I hate it when like families take up the whole walkway, like walk in like pairs or something, you know? Like the worst part is when there's a family taking up the whole walkway. And then when you like, weave your way through they think that you're the rude bitch for like weaving your way through and like pushing them over. not pushing them over but like pushing past them and it's like well maybe if you didn't take up the whole walkway i wouldn't have to do that and i could just carry on <laughs> some people just don't know even like on escalators you know how there's like that unwritten rule that when you're traveling on like a travel ladder or escalator if you're not going to be walking on it you have to stay to the left so people can like bypass you and walk past you if they're if they're in a rush or whatever. And like, I hate people that don't do it, especially people with trolleys. So just to add another dimension of color, I'm gonna add this top shade just on the center part of my eyelid. I always have issues when I say I'm gonna put something on the center of my eyelid because then I just like go off center and it ends up like all over my eyelid. But I'm gonna control myself and I'm just gonna blend this through now. And that's pretty much it for the eyeshadow. I don't think I wanna do any more than that. So now I'm just going to use my Bare Minerals Long Lasting Brown Eyeliner. And I'm just gonna 
not do a wing but just go over my lash line and do the quarter to a half on my bottom lash line that I always do so after this video I'm actually going to film a Filipino tag video just because I saw one of my subscribers post it and I was like I have to do that it's actually quite funny because a lot of my subscribers are half Filipino or Filipino but they actually don't live in the Philippines which I find is really interesting but yeah I actually don't have a lot of Filipino subscribers like my main subscribers are in America actually so now I'm just using the other side of the eyeliner which is just like this spongy smudging thing and I'm just gonna smudge out my eyeliner again just keeping it a really soft look speaking of the Philippines did anybody watch Miss Universe 2015? Oh my god, like, I was dying. Like, I couldn't believe that they announced that it was Miss Columbia. Was it Miss Columbia? Yeah. I can't believe that they announced Miss Columbia was the winner and then backtracked and said it was actually Miss Philippines. But her face, like, when she won, I was like, oh my god, I, like, almost started crying. And she's, like, so pretty. Oh my god, to die. Did anybody watch the... It's Judy's Life um, Dance Semba cast, broadcast. It was amazing. I watched the ending of it, like the final, the final few hours of it in her vlog today. And I was literally crying. Like I was so happy. I was just, I couldn't believe it. They are such an amazing family. They're so inspirational. And I watch them every single day just because they make me so happy. And they just like give me hope in humanity, really like, they are such an amazing family and I love how they keep it so real. I was so happy when they reached that 200,000 goal because the lead up to it was very, very slow and then all of a sudden it just went crazy and they definitely built momentum and everyone just went all out. It was amazing and all the people that like helped them in Dance Semba, it was incredible. Benji was saying in Judy's vlog that they were trending above Star Wars like on Twitter. That's amazing. So for my mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal False Lash Architect Waterproof Mascara, which looks like this. This was my Holy Grail mascara a few years ago, and I stopped using it because I went back to Maybelline. But I just found this, and I was like, you know what? I want to give it a go again, because I know that when I got it, I loved it. Like, I was so in love with it. I went through these like crazy. This one's probably a bit dried up now because I haven't used it for a few months. But I just remember it like making my lashes so long. I think this is one of those mascaras that have like the little fibers in it. But it's not like how you coat your lashes first with like a gel thing and then you put the fibers on. This actually has the fibers in it. And that's why they call it 4D, 4 dimension. Yeah, well it says on here 4 dimension effect fibers. So I'm guessing it has the fibers in the mascara. I'd love to use this up before I throw it out because I hate waste, like I hate wasting products. Just because I become set in my own ways. So far so good, oh my god. For a mascara that's been sitting there for a few months untouched, I think this is amazing. <laughs> it's not like, it's not as thick, but just the way it separates my lashes and makes them longer looks so good. Oh my god, I'm so gonna lay this on my lashes. Then hopefully I don't have to wear falsies because I've been wearing a lot of falsies lately and I can feel that my eyelashes are becoming a lot more thinner because they're obviously falling out more um, because of the lash adhesive on them and stuff like that. So I want to try and not wear falsies for a while. And I've also decided that Tuesdays are going to be a permanent no makeup day just to give my skin a bit of a break. and give myself a bit of a break really because I wear makeup every single day. The biggest thing about it is that I never go anywhere without wearing makeup, without at least wearing BB cream. But I'm hoping that I can kind of work my way into being brave enough to leave my house without wearing any makeup at all sometimes. Like not all the time but like if I'm just going to get some like bread and milk then I can just go without wearing any makeup. But we'll see what happens because like I have really bad self-esteem when it comes to not wearing makeup. So for my bronzer, I'm going to use this shade here that's in the palette. Really, really nice matte bronzer. And I'm just going to use my tapered face brush, which is a bit big. 
but it works really, really well. I'm really, really loving big brushes lately just because it gets the job done like so much more faster than using a small brush. So I'm just going to apply this all over the points of my face that I like to bronze up. You guys know how it is. It's always like my cheekbones, my forehead, um, my jawline now because I've got a double chin. I'm also going to bronze this part here because I can get quite shiny there sometimes. So that's just going, that powder is just going to help set it. I really, really like that bronzer. I think it's beautiful. Moving on to my blush, I'm going to use the lighter one in the palette. I think using a smaller brush for your blush can be really handy if you're someone like me and uses a big brush and you just end up getting it blush everywhere. This is a lot easier to control, especially if you're really particular about where you want to have your blush. I'm just going to blend that through into my bronzer as well. So moving on to highlight, um, there's only one highlight shade in this palette which is this one here and I've already used it before. I know that I'm going to love it. It is such a beautiful highlight. I'm just going to take my bronzing brush again just to quickly go over it and make sure that it's all blended and it doesn't look super sharp. I don't know what these eyebrow hairs are doing. With the smaller concealer brush, I'm just gonna use this to contour the bridge of my nose. And I'm going to use the bronzer shade to do that. So I just put the very, very tip of it in the bronzer. Now with the tip of your nose, a lot of people contour this in like so many different ways. Some people do like a little line in between and that just creates your nose to have like a really buttony type look, but my nose is already like flat and buttony so I don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is contour it like this and that's going to make it look less buttony. <laughs> So I've just put some baby lips on my lips because they are super, super dry. And on top of that, I'm going to be using this Chi Chi lipstick in Sex Bomb. I did a swatch of this in my haul video as well, and it has literally been my go-to color every single day ever since I got it. I am obsessed with it. I love it so much. So that is the finished look. Just super simple and bronzy and glowy. I love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.